When they fight, one word. It is... Welcome to another episode of Neon Radio. I'm Reese, And I'm Dan. And this week, we're reviewing Godzilla vs. Kong. The epic next chapter in the cinematic monsterverse pits two of the greatest icons in motion picture history against one another. The fearsome Godzilla and the mighty Kong, with humanity caught in the balance. And you best believe I got that from IMDb straight off the bat. It was going to happen. So original. <laughs> but how good is being back at the cinema? It's, it's, uh, it's a treat. Smell of popcorn oh, in the air. So good. Uh, uh, it's soda beverage in hand. You know, I finally realized that a medium popcorn is a perfect size. Yeah, no, don't get the large yeah. or the small. Yeah. The small's just like and you finish it too quick. Of, yeah, the large is just, it's your mouth just starts bleeding from all the salt. <laughs> curing <laughs> it's, inside. It's, dude, even from our one, I went home, my mouth was sore from like, yeah. the, the medium. The salt is still bad. Up, but it's, how good is it? It needs like a mid between even the medium and the small. Yeah. Anyway, no worries. Size. Anyway, this movie, uh, it was quite quite a treat it didn't go for too long mm. perfect amount of time for a a, a yeah. monster film yeah. a big battle monster titan film it's an um, hour and 53 minutes but yeah. felt like an hour and 20 yeah pretty yeah. much it gave me mad max feels yeah that when i walked out i was like damn that was good to watch in the cinema yeah i it was it's the the perfect film for a cinema cuz the sound is crazy mm. uh, you know hearing like godzilla's atomic breath like mm. That oh. weird like gong sound yeah. every time it shoots off. Oh man! And like just the the pounding of the chest with like Kong, all of that. This was a this was a good cinematic movie to watch at the movies. It was a good run back <laughs> to go it's back a, to. Yeah, it was. It is. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, take all your kids, take whoever to what to watch it. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Uh, it's not gruesome no. as well. Like it's. <laughs> it isn't really that gruesome. No, not really, because it's it's um. If you don't see human blood in it, it's fine. Yeah, it's more yeah, like monster creature blood. blood. Yeah, yeah, creature blood. Yeah. But other than that, it's it's not gruesome. It's mm. it's cheesy, but in the best way. Yeah. Um, and it, and I think it hits the right points of. It's like the, well, the title says it for itself. Yeah. Is you go on there to see the main fight. Godzilla. Yeah. First Kong. And That's it's, what we want. it's pretty much seventy five percent of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. There's only a little bit of human stuff. Which is uh, yeah. all that's needed, yeah. and the rest is just spectacle. I, I would I would go against that and say there's about ten minutes or fifteen minutes of mm. human stuff I could have easily cut out. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, a lot of the Millie Bobby Brown um, scenario stuff, all of that stuff, it's mm. not her fault or the cast no. in that area's fault. It's mm. just kind of not necessary or it's kind of boring. Mm. Um, and also, there's a lot of exposition in the Scars Guard side of the film yeah but that's a little more important to the story i yeah, feel a just, little more yeah they touch on it i think the strongest human character in it is this, is this little girl on it yeah who's um who's deaf yeah and she signs everything um that's sort of fitting because we watched sound, we of sound metal, of metal. <laughs> yeah yeah and i thought that was really cool to see her interaction with the you know the big ape yeah so that's all i'm giving away yeah well yeah, yeah. it's the, a, a lot of that that's the heart of the film mm. and it's what makes you care about one of the Titans, what makes you care about Kong. Mm. And, uh, well, number one, we couldn't care about Godzilla too much. We literally are not allowed to. To no. Toho, who's the... Toyo? Toho? I don't know. The company that yep. uh, gave the rights to Godzilla, one of their rules is it's not allowed to emote. Um, mm. It's supposed to be a god, an ethereal being, something that is yep. comes to restore balance mm. and is a, spiritually finds its way. But it's not allowed to like show emotion, yeah, which is odd because um, it's hard to connect to that character as a yeah, yeah as a moviegoer. Yeah, it's only seeing it and being like it's powerful mm. is what you get from it. Yep. Um, yeah, and but that, yeah, well, that's why you feel more for Kong. Yeah, because he's much. like a human. Yeah, yeah and but unfortunately, the, the, yet again, the human elements for this film just most of the time fall flat. Yeah, not existent. Yeah, and you just thankfully they mm. just touch on it and they don't give you a hell of a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is this is a main fight movie, and that's it. Yeah, that's mm. it, and that's a beautiful thing about it. Yeah. And <laughs> by the way, when they fight, one word. It is epic. That was three words, but what? Well, good try, man. Good try. <laughs> Just epic would have been fine. Oh man, look, this is 
Well, that's like I said, I was in the podcast. I was saying this to me brought out the kid in me. Yeah, it was just like, oh man, you know, let's put on the TV and then you see this epic fight. So you know, it's like when I was, yeah, you know, when you're younger and you're watching those Bruce Lee movies, and mm. then you, as soon as you finish, you just start fighting with your brothers and sisters yeah, or cousins those, or anything. Yeah, it's like I yeah. want to be the character. Yeah, yeah, it was like that, and I thought that was this is this is what makes it a good movie to watch the movies. Like, well, not for not to hit people, but. To experience the sound and the crunches yeah. and the camera moves. I left some oh. claw marks in the cinema. Yeah. Just through, like, it was pretty good. Yeah, just through the yeah. fact that it was like thrilling and entertaining mm. and the music, oh, Junkie yeah, the, XL, yeah, yeah. has fantastic great. music yeah, in it. Yeah. Every time you hear the Godzilla, like, mm. oh, that, that, yeah. their man is ripping. <laughs> I love that soundtrack. Yeah, I'm actually keen to watch this again. I know. Yeah, I just really go, just good. go back and watch the Fall into Hell in Godzilla one. Yeah. Oh, and just yeah, that was pretty good. The, the what's it called? The uh, the I can't remember the name. The of paratroopers it. coming down. Yeah, the coming red. down out of like the the yeah, large the yeah. top four. That's art, That's man. Sick, man. Yeah. So good. Um, one more thing. Mm-hmm. The cinematography. Yeah, man, is really good. <laughs> And actually, in Skull, uh, Kong Skull Island, that was really good too. Yeah. Um, but what makes this movie great is the way they use the camera. Oh, yeah. um, the easiest way that I can put this to, to viewers here is imagine being, say, on Disney World or you go to, depending on where you are in the world, you know those rides where you're on a roller coaster but there's a screen in front of you? It's like that. Like a three, like a 4D ride. Yeah, it's like that. You're you're in it, and the camera's just following like missiles, and you don't. It doesn't cut, and that's what I yeah. like about it. And it's not gimmicky because it just works, and it puts you right there in the movie. Yeah. And and it, you got that firing on all cylinders. You got the sound firing on all cylinders. You got two massive beasts firing on all cylinders. Oh man, there's that. There's so that so good. One shot. I'll, I'll forever be ingrained in my head. I told you on the podcast, yeah. but. Kong grabs Godzilla's head. It's like a POV shot. Mm. And Godzilla's just going off with the atomic breath. And he's just holding his head and moving the moving the head around as the breath's going. And you're like, yeah. this is awesome. <laughs> it's like, really good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. And it's... Uh, I know, look, we, we bag Bay out a lot. But this is how you direct yeah. big creatures... And follow it on a cinema screen, yeah. And follow, and you're not getting confused, yeah. And people do say there's the power of the cut, but I think in these sort of in these um, uh, choreographed fights, you don't need to cut. Also, pull out, pull out from the shot. Yeah, that's some of the best shots the biggest, in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Like Kong hitting Godzilla in the face, punching in the face. That's just one big yeah, wide, wide, and that just you just go wow. Yeah, and, and a you lot see of the scale, and a lot of movies don't they don't do that. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, honestly, with all all retrospect, final thoughts on this. Personally, I absolutely love this film. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's only one reason why I'm going to give it. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Only one reason why I'm not giving it a 9 or a 10. It's just some of the human elements are really bog it down. Mm-hmm. But not in the way that it's completely destroying the film. Uh, you know, if you get a chance to and you love big monster movies... You love good sound and, and music and and epic battles. Please go watch this at the cinema. Mm. Uh, this is the one. Obviously, for stay it. safe because wherever so, you are in the course, world. Of course, yeah. yes. But but if you get your chance to mm. go watch it because it's worth watching in a cinema setting. Yeah. If not, I'm sure this is going to absolutely rip on. Go to a friend's place with a big TV. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> well, it's more of a it's more of a sound system. If you've got yeah. a cranking sound oh, system, it'll this go. cranks. It'll go super hard. It'll yeah. go really well. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're watching this on a if you're watching it on like a, a tinny tinny sound system, it just it's, it's going to ruin your whole experience. Yeah. 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 I think it's sound is really a real big part of this movie. Your final thoughts? Yeah. Same as you. Like I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not going to rate it as high as I did like Mad Max because that was yeah. just banging all yeah, the way that's through. Amazing. Um, but yeah, this is a, a definitely a rewatchable film. It's something very easy to watch. You can just, like you said, if you watch this again, skip the human elements, just go to the main fights. Yeah, and you can enjoy doing that. That's yeah. fine. That's just like Bruce Lee movies. Yeah, <laughs> you just much. go through yeah. the fights. Yeah, just bang, 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 bang done. It's not going to hurt. Um, yeah, so I'm giving this a seven you out of ten. Get a tea between the, <laughs> the human elements. Yeah, a oh, tea, man. Just get a beer, know. coffee, yeah. <laughs> no, beer as well, man. I don't know. Yeah. Anything you want. Yeah. 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 Oh. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out Neon Radio Podcast for more spoil-filled, in-depth reviews. Also, check us out on Neon Radio Reviews on Facebook and Instagram to see what we're up to next and to see Reese's terrible stories. <laughs>
And Dan, no, can they're, you... They're pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Dan, can you take us out this week for our atomic breath? That was completely...